So I get asked often, how do I do that when it comes to custom HTML and Google Earth? And what it is really is just learning a little bit of HTML, CSS, and JavaScript. And that's what I'm going to attempt to teach through these tutorials. This by no means is a complete guide to creating web pages. It's actually just a simple guide to creating or learning enough HTML to create info windows for questions and answers. First thing we have to do is set up our environment. And we're going to need a browser, so Google Chrome. And then we're going to need a text editor. There's plenty of text editors out there, but we're going to use Visual Studio Code for this tutorial session, mainly because it allows for two things. It allows for us to work at the same kind of environment, depending on if you're on a Mac OS or, or independent of if you're on a Mac OS or Windows. And then there's some extensions, one in particular that I created that's going to help us with the workflow. So if you'll just go to be the Google search VS code or go to code.visualstudio.com and then download whatever platform you have, just click the download button and then choose on the menu, whatever menu choice you need to have. Go ahead and install it. Go through the default installation. That'll be fine. The one thing with Windows that I might suggest is that there's going to be a box that says create desktop icon that is unchecked. I would go ahead and check it. That way you can easily get to VS Code. Once you get installed, it looks something like this, a welcome screen. And the kind of the two things on this left ribbon that we're going to work with, the two icons, is this Explorer tab, which is just your files, which will be over here in the table of contents, and then these extensions. So within the Explorer tab, we're going to go ahead and create a very simple web page. We're going to do it in about, I don't know, 30 seconds. First, we need a project folder. So I already have a folder set up to where this tutorial session is going to go. So it's in my tree. So I'm going to type training, actually select training and then just select folder. VS Code will reload and this is the folder that has absolutely nothing in it. So to create our first web page, just create a new file and then type in index.html and that tells Visual Studio Code that you're working in an HTML document. So if you look like there, it has the less than and greater than I guess that's its default icon for HTML. And to make our first HTML page, we can just click the exclamation points, hit enter, because that Emmet abbreviation, whenever you're in HTML, actually sets up the structure for an HTML document. So the document has the doc type, which tells the browser that this is an HTML document. Therefore, these tags have certain meanings, and the browser reads these tags as if it's an HTML document. Most tags have an open and close. So for example, the header, you'll see that there's boxes at the open and close of head. It's the, this is what's not seen in the body of the web page itself, kind of some background information. And you'll see that there's an open head and then a closed head. So an open tag and a closed tag. That closed tag is indicated with that forward slash in front. So that tells the browser that you're that it's done reading the head part of the document. And then this says where the body part begins and ends. So most tags, if there's something that goes between them, will have an open and a, cl and a close. However, there are some tags like metadata right here, where there's nothing that actually goes between the, met the metadata tags. Therefore, it doesn't need a close tag. It's just telling the browser that its character set is UTF-8, right? Um, there's nothing in between, not like this title where you have document in between. So you have an open title tag, document, close title tag. Cool. Now we just type in hello world. I'm going to go ahead and save it by clicking control S and then I can go find this in my data structure real quick. And if I double click on that, it'll open up that document in Chrome. So there's my hello world. You see the title is document. I can change that doc, that title real quick right here. Where's the document? I'll just put in first web page, control S, and I'll come back over here 
and I'm going to refresh this page and see how it says first web page now in the title and but still hello world so that sets up the basics for Visual Studio Code if you want to go ahead and download it install create a folder open your folder and then create your first HTML file that'd be pretty cool and on the next video I'll show you the extensions that we're going to install for the rest of the project.